The answer to the question of how exactly did Megalodon go extinct is both simple yet difficult because there's a multitude of factors and we're not entirely sure which one is like the main reason why it went extinct. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and the Megalodon existed during the Miocene Epoch between about 23 million years ago and at least 3.5 million years ago based on the fossils that we have. This species was a primary tropical coastal water shark, so it was found in warmer waters around the equator and was not suited for cold environments. On top of that, it was an apex predator, and based on its teeth and just the size that we think it was, which was around 65 feet in length on average, Megalodon required a huge amount of food, and at the time, the food that was available that could power a shark of this size were whales. So based on this understanding of where Megalodon lived and how Megalodon lived, this is what I believe likely caused the extinction of this species. First and foremost, the earth started to get cooler. This was a gradual trend that was going on for quite some time before Megalodon first appears in the fossil record, throughout its existence, and at the end of its existence. The gradual cooling of the planet started in the Oligocene Epoch around 35 million years ago as changes to several different areas around the world started to form glaciation at the poles. Some of these geologic changes include the continued shrinking of the Tethys Ocean, which is now where the Middle East sits, along its side towards the end of Megalodon's existence Distance, the closing of the Central American Seaway, which divided North and South America. These changes, combined with Antarctica continuing to cover the South Pole, likely led to increased glaciation at both poles, which changed coastal environments and lowered the overall temperature of the Earth, including the oceans. As a warm water coastal shark species, if the planet and the oceans get colder, that's likely not going to do very well for you. And the absence of megalodon fossils outside of the tropics and subtropics indicate that it was not capable of surviving in colder waters like other more modern shark species can. Now, it's possible that climate change alone wasn't going to cause the extinction of megalodon, and I am of the mindset that it probably would have been able to survive if not for changes in its food sources. Specifically, I'm referring to whale populations because there is a very clear correlation, in my opinion, between whale populations at the time and the appearance and disappearance of Megalodon. The Miocene Epoch, when it comes to diversity for marine mammals, was kind of their heyday, especially for whales. Like today, there are six extant genera of baleen whales, whereas back during the Miocene, there were over 20 of them. Genre, or the genus of an animal species, is the last classification of a group of animals before you get the species. So today there are 16 species of baleen whales spread across the six extant genera. And during the Miocene there were 20 genera of baleen whales. So imagine how many species there were at the time. Whale diversity was insane back then. Even more significant than the diversity of these baleen whales is their sizes. Almost all of them ranged between about 15 to 30 feet in length, which was the perfect size for a predatory shark like Megalodon. If we assume that Megalodon hunted its prey similarly to other lamniform sharks like Great Whites and Makos, then it likely did not feed on anything more than about 30% its own body size, which was exactly that size range of all of those baleen whales that lived. And baleen whale diversity dropped pretty significantly at the end of the Miocene, the beginning of the Pliocene epochs, around 5 to 2 million years ago, as the planet continued to cool. The closing of the Central American Seaway definitely disrupted whale diversity because the currents of the very productive Pacific Ocean were no longer heading into the now low productivity zones of the Caribbean. So 
it just really messed up with the overall productivity of the oceans in the tropics as well as marine mammal diversity itself. In fact, there was a mass extinction of marine mammals specifically during the Miocene-Pliocene transition period where over half of all marine mammals groups went extinct. So right there, a large amount of Megalodon's food sources went extinct due to climate change, which also affected Megalodon. But in my opinion, there was one final nail in the coffin for Megalodon's extinction, and that was whales became migratory. When the planet cooled down and ocean currents changed with the connection of North and South America, whales started following their food, which started moving north and south to the colder, more productive regions of the world. So as whales became more migratory and started to adapt to surviving in the colder waters, Megalodon wasn't capable of following them because it was likely mesothermic, so it couldn't regulate its body temperature and wasn't able to survive outside of the tropics. So with a huge amount of its food extinct and the rest becoming migratory and vanishing from its hunting range for half the year, it ended up starving to death effectively. And now you might be going, well, what about the dolphins and the toothed whales that stayed behind that aren't migratory? Couldn't it feed on them? It might have been capable of doing that, but those food sources, toothed whales, are much faster than the baleen whales that exist. Toothed whales feed on larger fish and squid, which are fast and maneuverable, so they had to be fast and maneuverable. Baleen whales were relying on lunge feeding at the time, and they didn't need to move as fast. They just needed to find a big school of fish and engulf it all in one go, so they weren't as fast, which is why Megalodon likely primarily hunted baleen whales. There's also the likely competition between the emerging great white shark lineages, orca lineages, and the existing sperm whales like Leviathan, that likely put even more pressure on Megalodon as its food sources started to vanish and change their range. And by around three and a half million years ago, Megalodon vanishes from the fossil record. And as soon as it vanishes from the fossil record, we start seeing baleen whales getting huge. That to me is pretty significant evidence to Megalodon actually being extinct and not surviving in the deep ocean like a lot of people seem to think. It's likely that a 60 foot predatory shark alongside a macro predatorial sperm whale leviathan feeding on baleen whales kept them smaller because they weren't able to get bigger because they'd be eaten with the disappearance of megalodon and leviathan around the same time it allowed the baleen whales that were becoming migratory to also expand in size which made them even more adapted to their migratory nature but that is how Megalodon went extinct and how I know that it is still extinct today. The gradual cooling of the planet kept Megalodon restricted to the tropics and wiped out a majority of its food sources in the form of small baleen whales. And the baleen whales that survived became migratory to the poles, leaving Megalodon without any food to sustain itself.